NATO's Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group in Estonia recently completed its annual winter camp exercise involving forces from the UK, Estonia, France, and Denmark. It marks the end of a six-month rotation, with another multinational battalion prepared to take its place. The purpose of the EFP is simple, deter Russian aggression against NATO's eastern member states. The three Baltic states don't share a tank between them, so NATO's armored force contributions are significant. At the macro level, NATO's enhanced forward presence was fully deployed in 2017 as a direct response to the Russian invasion of Crimea and Donbass in 2014. Initially, this involved four multinational battalion battle groups in Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. But with Russia's escalation of 2022, four additional battle groups are being established in Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary, and Slovakia. The focus of this video is on the British led battle group in Tapa, Estonia. They're integrated into the Estonian 1st Brigade, their one active duty brigade, and have a particularly close relationship with the Estonian Scouts Battalion a mechanized infantry battalion mounted on CV-90s that acts as the 1st Brigade's Rapid Reaction Unit. The NATO units rotate twice a year, in March and September. The outgoing battle group was led by the King's Royal Hussars, and they'll be replaced by the Queen's Royal Hussars. The outgoing group included a battle group HQ from the King's Royal Hussars, with, among other things, two Challenger II main battle tanks. The core of the force was two KRH tank squadrons, A and C squadron, each with 14 challengers for a total of 30 challengers in the battle group. They were reinforced by B Company 1st Battalion Scots Guards, which is that battalion's fire support company. In this case, they were task organized with 24 Javelin anti-tank guided missile teams, double the normal war establishment for an infantry battalion. They were mounted on Mastiff armored vehicles. 127 Battery 19 Regiment Royal Artillery provided artillery support with its AS-90 self-propelled howitzers, while 3 Squadron 22 Engineer Regiment provided mobility support with Titan armored bridge layers and Trojan mine clearing vehicles. In addition to British forces, France and Denmark also made company-sized contributions. Denmark sent the 2nd Tank Squadron of the Jutland Dragoon Regiment's 1st Tank Battalion. Outfitted with 14 Leopard 2A7 main battle tanks, this was the first time Denmark deployed an entire tank squadron overseas since 2003. Denmark did deploy Leopard 2A5s to Afghanistan between 2007 and 2014, but only at platoon strength. Denmark also provided a logistics detachment, and military police to the battle group. And lastly, the French sent the 4th Company of the 7th Alpine Chasseur Battalion. This is a mountain infantry battalion mounted on VAB armored personnel carriers, with a specialty on austere and winter conditions. They formed an infantry company team known as an SGTIA, which had engineers and artillerymen attached from within the 27th Mountain Infantry Brigade. I assume the artillerymen referred to forward observers and fire support coordinators, and standard practice for the engineers would be a VAB-mounted engineer platoon. For the winter camp exercise, they also had a detachment of mountain commandos from the 27th Brigade, a Seaburn decontamination platoon from the 2nd Dragoon Regiment, and a squad of small drone operators from the 93rd Artillery Regiment. The Mountain Commandos specifically give commanders a deep reconnaissance capability with a specialization in infiltration and operations behind enemy lines in winter conditions. Also, in a rare Icelandic mention, Iceland provided one civilian strategic communication specialist, which I assume means public relations. This battle group will be replaced in March 2023 by one led by the Queen's Royal Hussars another Challenger II tank regiment. They'll be reinforced by an element of the French Foreign Legion, an infantry company team from the 13th Demi Brigade mounted on 16 of the new Griffin APCs, 
and reinforced by elements from their parent 6th Light Armored Brigade. As a side note, for most of 2022, the British Army had a second battle group deployed to Estonia as the Agile Task Force. This task force was deployed in February in response to Russia's military buildup. It initially consisted of the Royal Tank Regiment Battle Group, which was already deployed to Estonia in September 2021 as the EFP, but extended its stay after being replaced in that role by one Royal Welsh. From June, the Royal Tank Regiment Battle Group was replaced by two rifles, a light infantry battalion. They worked with Estonia's reservist 2nd Brigade. However, it wasn't maintained in 2023. If you want to learn more about Britain's plans for future warfare, check out this video on that topic. We'll see you over there.